Welcome to the spoken tutorial on scripting and LaTeX in GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we will learn to use various script commands to draw and manipulate objects, use if commands to draw objects, convert GeoGebra file to a LaTeX file, run the LaTeX code to show the output in PDF format. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, GeoGebra version 5.0660.0-D, TechWorks version 0.6.3. The commands shown in this tutorial will work in all 5.0x versions of GeoGebra. To practice this tutorial, you should have full version of TechWorks installed on your system. You should be familiar with GeoGebra and LaTeX. For the prerequisite GeoGebra and LaTeX tutorials, please visit this website. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and use them for practicing. I have opened a new GeoGebra window. Let us begin with scripting in GeoGebra. The commands used in this tutorial are available in scriptingcommands.txt file. This file is given in the code files for the learners to use. In this tutorial, we will use the input bar to draw various objects. In the input bar, type a is equal to 2,4 and press enter. Point A is marked in the graphics view at 2,4. Now we will use script commands to change the coordinates of point A. In the input bar, type the following command. This code moves the x coordinate of A by 1 up and y coordinate by 1 down. Press enter to execute the command. The coordinates of point A are now 3,3. Let us execute the same command once again. The coordinates of point A change to 4, 2. Now let us draw a circle using point A. Type this command in the input bar and press enter. A circle with center A and radius 3 cm is drawn. Drag the boundary to see the equation clearly. Let us now change the color of circle C dynamically. Type this command in the input bar and press enter. Create sliders dialog box appears. Click the create sliders button. Three sliders red, green and blue are created. Now drag the sliders to see the circle in various combinations of colors. Now let's create a random circle using a random point B. In the input bar, type the following command and press enter. Point B is drawn. Now let's create radius R of circle C randomly using this command. To get a random circle C, type this command. Drag the sliders to see the circle in different colors. Press Ctrl and R keys to move the circle randomly in the graphics view. Notice the change in the radius of the circle as it moves. Let us select all the objects and delete them. Next let us create a randomly generated parabola. To create a random parabola, let us create a random point A. Type the following command and press enter. Point A will be the vertex of the parabola. Press Ctrl and R keys repeatedly. Observe that the coordinates of point A keep changing. In the input bar, type the following command. Here, x of A and y of A are the coordinates of point A in the equation. Observe that parabola opens upwards. To make the parabola open downwards, we need to randomly generate plus 1 and minus 1. 
Type the following command and press enter. Here n is a number which is in between 0 and 1. Type the following command. Here a changes when n is equal to 1. We can see the values of n and a only in the algebra view. Keep pressing Ctrl and R keys repeatedly. Observe the changes in point A, A and N values and the parabola. Double click on the function fx in the algebra view. Redefined text box appears. Type A space asterisk before the function and click OK button. Observe that the parabola has opened downwards. Press Ctrl and R keys repeatedly to see the changes in the parabola. Now we will see how to use if commands to generate various functions. For this, we will open a new GeoGebra window. In general, the if command is if condition then else. Let us create a number slider n with min value 0 and max value 5. Click the move tool to avoid accidental clicking of unnecessary objects. Let us draw circles of two different radii using the if command. Type the following command and press enter. A circle with center at the origin 0, 0 and radius 1 cm is drawn. Now drag the slider from n is equal to 0 to n is equal to 3. A new circle with center at 2,0 and radius 4 cm is drawn. As we drag the slider from n is equal to 0 to n is equal to 5, the radius changes from 1 cm to 4 cm. Now let's delete circle C. Next let us draw a segment and a circle in the same manner using the if command. Let us drag the slider back to n is equal to 0. Type the following command and press enter. A segment parallel to x axis and at a distance of 2 cm is drawn. Now drag the slider from n is equal to 0 to n greater than 2. A circle with center at 0, 0 and radius 2 cm is drawn. Users may change the values to draw the circle with different dimensions. As we drag the slider from n is equal to 0, to n is equal to 5, the segment changes to a circle. Again, let's delete the circle C and retain the slider n. Let's drag the slider back to n is equal to 0. Now we will use the if command to show trigonometric functions. Type the following command and press enter. A cos x function is plotted. As we drag the slider from n is equal to 0 to n is equal to 5, Function changes from cos x to sin 90 minus x. Let us delete the function. Similarly, let us plot tan x and sin 90 minus x functions. As we drag the slider from n is equal to 0 to n is equal to 5, function changes from tan x to sin 90 minus x. Pause the tutorial and do this assignment. Use if command to Draw triangles of different sizes, plot sin x and sin hx functions, plot cortex and cos x functions, plot sin 90 minus x and sin integral x functions. Now we will learn how to generate LaTeX code for a GeoGebra file. For this, let us open the files provided in the code files link. I have downloaded and saved them on my desktop. Please download and save them to your convenient folder. The code files folder contains two GeoGebra files to generate the LaTeX code. One for the article class and another for the Beamer class. Users may use the files as per their choice. Let us first open the triangle.ggb file in GeoGebra. Double click on the file to open in GeoGebra. Click the file menu and select export. 
from the submenu select graphics view as pgf ticks geogebra to pgf export window opens in the window format option has a drop down arrow button by default latex article class is selected we will leave the default selection as such Now click the generate pgf text code button in the window. Code is generated in the text box below. Select the text and copy it. You may also click the copy to clipboard button to copy the latex code. I have opened a new techworks file. Users may open the default latex file. Now paste the copied code in the techworks window. To save the file, click on File and select Save. Save dialog box opens. I will save the file on my desktop. Type the file name as Triangle and click on Save. File is saved as Triangle dot tech. Now let's run the file. Click the green Type Set button to run the code. The PDF file of the drawn figure is generated. Let us go back to the code files folder. This time, let us open the arc sector dot ggb file in GeoGebra. Click the file menu and select export. From the sub menu, select graphics view as PGF ticks. GeoGebra to PGF export window opens. In the format drop down, let us select latex beamer class option. Click the generate PGF ticks code button. The generated code is seen in the text box below. Select the text and copy it. I have opened a new TechWorks file. Now paste the copied code in the window. To save the file, click on file and select save. In the save dialog box, type the file name as arc sector and click on save. The file is saved as arcsector.tech. Now let's run the file. Click the green type set button to run the code. A PDF file is generated with a number of pages. PDF file shows the step by step construction of the drawn figure on each page. With this we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learned to use various script commands to draw and manipulate objects use if commands to draw objects convert geogebra file to a latex file run the latex code to show the output in pdf format here is an assignment for you plot sinx cosx and tanx functions in the same geogebra file Using the GeoGebra file, generate a LaTeX code for article class. Run the LaTeX code to generate a PDF file. Your completed assignment should look as follows. Here is another assignment for you. Open a new GeoGebra window. Draw a circumscribed circle in it. Generate a LaTeX code for Beamer class. Run the latex code to generate a PDF file. Your completed assignment should look as follows. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The spoken tutorial project is funded by the Ministry of Education Government of India. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.